Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and in this video I want to teach you how to iterate over dumb elements that you get using scigets, scifinds, scicontains, using built-in Cypress commands like sci-each, plus better alternatives like my scimap, map invoke, even jQuery methods. So first, uh, here's an example. I have a couple of li elements in this list and I'm getting those li elements and I'm using sci each. You provide a callback and the callback receives a jQuery object for each element. And you can verify it by using an assertion. I can say expect to satisfy and I can say Cypress DOM is jQuery. Okay. So notice the callback was invoked twice and it was jQuery. Let's move it to the side. And we can also say and to not satisfy and the dependable predicate for checking if an element is just a plain element is Cypress low dash is element function dot. Okay. Okay. So we checked each callback argument. Each one was a jQuery. Each one had uh, just one element. Let's say x to have length one. Okay. Now the only problem with psi each is that at the end of iteration, no matter what you do, no matter if you let's say return, you know, 10, and then uh, you print it, let's say console log, you're not changing the current subject. It still remains wherever the jQuery object was in the beginning. Now you might use Psi then and you get the jQuery object. And in this case, you can say, okay, I'm going to change it, right? You can say, I'm going to use, I'll say each. Okay. And this is a jQuery method now. And the first argument is the index and then the actual dumb element. So let's confirm it. Cypress is element. But again, jQuery each doesn't change the current subject. It's cannot change anything. What we can do instead is to use map. And in this case, we can, for example, return the inner text and we can return the results of jQuery map. So what do we get right here then? I'm going to let it run and I'm going to open dev tools and let's just run it again. So it's nice. What you see here that we mapped each element inside the jQuery object, but now we get another jQuery object, but instead of elements, it now has strings. It's kind of cool, right? Uh, so if you want to get an array of strings, not jQuery with strings inside, we can invoke jQuery built-in method to array. And now it will be an array of strings and we can use an assertion to confirm the text. Kiwi grapes. Now, unfortunately, then is not a query command, so this will not be retried. So if your application is still changing or adding elements, well, you're not going to see it, right? You will see only what happened at the execution of site get. So if you want to retry it now, notice what we're doing here. We're getting the subject, which is jQuery object, and we're just invoking a method. If you want to try it, you can use site invoke, give a name of a method, and then just provide arguments like this. Okay. Now we build a retriable chain of queries. So we get the elements, we're invoking the map and sci invoke is retriable command. It assumes you're not modifying the application. We're returning inner text from each dumb element, converting jQuery to an array and confirming array of strings. Okay. So not too bad, but if we invoking map on jQuery object, well, for this, I have Cypress map plugin already imported. So it has added bunch of query commands. One of them is actual dot map, the proper dot map. It's retriable query command. And all you need to do 
is provide a callback and in this case there's the index goes second so we're just dealing with each DOM element and because it converts things to an array automatically we don't need this to array okay so side.map from cypress map right is the way to go not only that because we are dealing with each element and it's such a common um, problem to get a property of each item well you can take a shortcut you want the inner text property from each item just specify it as a string and it automatically will map each DOM element to its inner text property. We're dealing with just DOM elements. Now imagine I modify this problem a little bit and instead of just inner text, I want to get the data product ID attribute. Well, if you were just writing code, you could say, okay, get me the element, right? Return element data set and then product ID and this is a camel key. So notice kiwi grape. So let's kiwi grape values. Okay. Side.map has a shortcut. You can get nested properties again using uh, a shorthand. So it automatically gets that data set that product ID. You can also get the same data attribute differently. You can say, okay, well, get me the element and you can use the dumb element method get attribute and let's return it and in this case data product id okay so we're getting the same kiwi and grape now notice what we've done we are mapping each element by invoking its method and of course there is a, there is a shortcut we can map invoke and we just specify the method name and pass any arguments that we need. Each element of a jQuery object is a DOM element. And you can say, why are we using get attribute? Why can't we use, for example, a jQuery uh, like adder method? Well, we can, for example, we can map each element and we can say, okay return and cypress bundles jquery so we can wrap this element and then we can invoke adder method so data product id and we're getting the same values but now we're using jquery method for each element okay now notice what happened right here we are mapping each element and for each one we're calling first jquery okay so we can split this into two commands we can first map each element and invoke jquery on top of it right so we're wrapping each element and now we're getting an array of jquery objects so jquery inside there is an element and it's an array and now for each jquery object all we need to do is invoke its method utter and we know how to do it we can invoke utter right the name of a method pass any arguments in this case is just the name uh, attribute and we get the same thing so there are lots of ways you can iterate over dumb elements that you get using say get say contains and so on and it helps to know what you get as an input in each callback and it also helps if you use my cypress map plugin because now you can use all various shortcuts like map with callback, map with property name, you can use map invoke, and you can decide what you want. Do you want to keep a jQuery object? Do you want to immediately convert to an array or use a mixture of the two? So find this full example with lots of tests at myglebachmutov slash Cypress example site that I will link in the description of this video. And try to check out Cypress map. I think it's a pretty cool plugin.